had been true, that pestilences may break out in the old world, which carry their destructive ravages into the new world, from which, once they are afoot, the new world can not escape. Duty and prudence alike command. First, that the germ centers of hatred and revenge should be constantly and vigilantly served and treated in good time, and that all and that an adequate organization should be set up to make sure that the pestilence can be controlled at its earliest beginnings before it spreads and rages throughout the entire earth. Five or six years ago, it would have been easy, without shedding a drop of blood, for the United States and Great Britain to have insisted on the fulfillment of the disarmament clauses of the treaties which Germany signed after the Great War. And that also would have been the opportunity for assuring to the Germans those materials, those raw materials, which we declared in the Atlantic Charter should not be denied to any nation, victor or vanquished. But John has passed. It is gone. Prodigious hammer strokes have been needed to bring us together today. If you will allow me to use other language, I will say that he must indeed have a a blind soul who cannot see that some great purpose and design is being worked out here below of which we have the honor to be the faithful servants. It is not given to us to peer into the mysteries of the future. Still I avow my hope and faith, sure and inviolate, that in the days to come the British and American people will for their own safety and for the good of all walk together in majesty, in justice and in peace.